Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, thank you so much for the Saturday Night Tarot. What? That's right. Okay, um, I'm going to do my tarot now because tomorrow morning I'm actually quite busy, quite early. Um, because I had a, a week off, remember I've had a sore throat, um, I've actually got really busy tomorrow morning and I don't know when I'm going to get time to actually do my videos. So here I am doing a pre-Sunday tarot, okay? I think we're all going to need this one. Um, pardon me, I love now that I'm incorporating a movie into my tarots, okay? So I've just finished watching Horrible Bosses. Um, Jason Bateman, it had Colin Farrell, um, even Donald Sutherland was in it, not very long, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of, even Mark and Megan Markle was in it. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of people in this movie. So as I get my first card today, oh, I'll go off the lovey dovey one, thank you so much. Okay, so while I start shuffling my, um, little lovey dovey ones today, because that's what I'm getting told to pick out first, um... Let's have a look at this movie. We've got three men who have obviously known each other for a long time. So there's that familiarity, okay? There's that common, um, they're familiar. They they trust each other, yeah? Okay? So let's look at these three guys before we even look at their bosses, okay? These are guys who are generally like what we would all strive to be. They're hardworking. They've got good friends that they can rely on. They've all got family lives. And most of all, they trust. Okay? They trust in men. So this is what I view as um, society, right? They, that we all try to be like these three guys. So then we look at their bosses. <laughs> one of these guys is a dentist. Well, a dentist assistant. Come on, one card, please. That we all that we need to hear this week. Um so he's a dental assistant and his dentist boss is Jennifer Anderson. And now I've just got my first card, it just flicked out, so I'll put that there. Jennifer Anderson, oh okay, now she's telling me to go with these ones. The, the Louise Benton cards, the link is below if you do want to go and purchase some of these off Louise. Okay, so Jennifer Anderson is a, um, I can't say the words, you know, it's like ab and then you follow it with user, okay? Because those words now get um, pulled up by the algorithms on YouTube. So she is a predator, okay? So he doesn't like her. Then we've got Jason Bateman. He can't stand his boss, who is actually Kevin Spacey, okay? So Kevin Spacey's not a nice character in this movie either. And then we've also got the other guy who... Um, what does he do for a job? I can't even remember now. Why is that not in my head? Okay, so all together they really... Oh, he actually works for um, Sutherland. But then Sutherland dies, so the... Um, yeah, the son takes over and he just doesn't like the son. So we've got three guys who... Let's look at it. They all are trustworthy, decent men doing their jobs all day. They're hard-working, dedicated, loyal, devoted men. They've all got their own private lives, but they've all got this great friendship and they've all got horrible bosses. So what happens is while they're sitting around having drinks one night, they're all saying, oh my God, I wish that this person no longer breathed. How often do we do that in our lives, guys, where we have these thoughts that we want some sort of bad thing to happen to somebody? Let's be honest here. We all have it. But we don't put it into action, right? Now, here's my card. It's just popped out at me, okay? So I've now got my card. Good girls. I'm talking to her, by the way. She's a good girl. And then I've also got Mary Gold here. She's just sitting with me on the floor as well. Mary! Okay, so now I've got my tarot. Okay, one card, please. So, oh, what? Really? She just said to do the this one first. Okay, so I've got my... Okay, so I'm going to be doing my stone first today. Okay, we're really getting... Because I usually do these guys last. Okay, one of these. Let me just go in and just get this one out first. No. Oh, it's down to you. You, 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 you. Yes, you. Big one. I can feel it's a big one. Okay. It's like, a, it's like an M. I hope that's an M. Okay, there he is. Okay. 
Okay, so now I can do my tarot. So I've got one, two, three here in front of me. Okay, now we'll do my tarot as well. Okay, so these guys are all in bad positions where every one of them cannot leave their job. If they aren't being threatened or being sued or things being told to their partners or other things, there's reasons why these guys cannot leave their jobs. So, pardon me. So let's have a look at this straight away. How is this now affecting us around the planet? There, how look how how many people right now are in a position with their job where they can't leave? They don't they. Oh, I just got that one thrown at me. Okay, let's just have a look. Yep, it is one card. I'm going to take that one. Oh, that's an interesting card considering the card I just had last week. Okay. Okay, so I've got my four. Okay, so let me just go there with this story first. It's called Horrible Bosses. I've just watched it. It's on Netflix. And they're all good, decent men, but they're all in positions where they have no ability to get out of that situation. This is reflective in what's happening right now around the world, right? How many people have done things where they've now forced or whatever, committed to their jobs, and they can't get out of what they've done? This is now very important because at the end of the day, in this movie, right at the end... There was one of the bosses who ended up, right? <laughs> but none of them went through with what they thought. So this is where, guys, I want to talk about um, intentions. If we have intentions where we're hoping for a good result, they will always come through and help us, okay? Okay. We have to remember that we all have life paths. We all have life contracts. So everything does happen in the way it's meant to within our own contracts. What we sign up for before we're even born, right? So in this movie, Horrible Bosses, they all had that intention of doing away with the other guys because there was three of them. They all were going to do the other one's bosses, okay? So... In this movie, it's not a good thing to have that intention in the first place. And I will go there, right? Bad thoughts are virtually what we create, yes. But when they got down to the crunch of it, none of them could do it. Because they're kind, loving, generous, supportive, dedicated employees. They've all got a heart. So ultimately, they took over. The true colours of these people came out so this is where sometimes guys we've got to take away our ego and allow other people to make their own fate okay and that is what is definitely happening right now all around the world we don't have to get involved with what other people are doing as long as we try our best to be loving, kind, supportive. These guys, they were all supporting each other, right? Dedicated, hardworking, devoted and loyal people, okay? So that was an interesting movie. I just watched it. It was called Horrible Bosses. All right, so today we've got a little lovey-dovey card. Love would open doors for others. And that's what I'm telling you guys. Be these guys like in Horrible Bosses. They ended up having no crim history, no nothing, because fate helped them, okay? So love would open doors for others, okay? Not only do we have to physically open a door out of kindness and gratitude to be nice to somebody else, which is always a good thing, right? But when we love and we trust that love and we don't be nasty just because someone else is nasty to us, because hello, in my life right now, I've got so many opportunities where I could really not like people because of what they're doing to me. But I don't do that. I send them light and love and I hope that they get through and heal all their own personal issues. Because ultimately, 
what I'm doing here is allowing my love to open those doors of opportunities where I can either be of service to other people or it helps them without my ego being involved so they start healing the things that they're doing wrong as well in the eyes of the universe not my eyes because I've got to take my egos out of the equation right so love would open doors for others and so it could be a physical thing where you're helping other people but we trust love so impeccably that we allow the universal forces to do it on our behalf okay next one beautiful louise benton card today it is the creation card and it reads cosmic ocean swirling forms from the spiral worlds are born vast expanse of magic clusters across endless waveform structures expanding out eternally creation unfolds itself through thee pardon me fear subsides on love's flood tide wow that's the line as through the mystic realms we glide ocean of infinity no beginning or end you will always be and at the bottom it says i am a divine expression of creation so there it is there if you want to pause the screen and have a read okay the one line i love here okay fear subsides on love's flood tide so if we feel like a flood flood tide you know imagine like a king tide or like a tsunami of love so if we drown other people in love then they have no other option but to feel the strength of that emotion because love conquers all okay so fear subsides so the more that we love the more that we trust the loving beings of the universe whether you call them jesus muhammad buddha or any of the archangels angels spirit guides guardian angels or ascended masters whoever else you want to put into the mix but as soon as you love them and you say to them you know what i trust you that you're looking after me and you're doing everything in your power for my higher good this is how we're going to win this war guys okay so now we've got our little ruined stone it is a like a little m okay i'm gonna to have to go over these words again um where did i put my ruin book here it is let me just find the book let me find the one that i'm looking for it's like an m here it is okie dokie it is here so there he is just so you can see what he looks like okay let's have a look it is a was and it's the horse okay a sacred animal to nordic peoples carrying warriors into battles funny because of <laughs> associated with the relocation a physical shift some travel or a change for the better now as soon as we open our hearts and we allow love to control oh I hope you understood what I just said there so I'm going to elaborate on it if we allow our control to drop down and we just don't worry about what's going on okay stop worrying what's going on with other people okay if we allow love to take care of that for us it's saying that we're going to win this war okay because it's a change for the better okay we've got three four dot points four dot points the ruin of physical or emotional relocation now physical relocation could be you're moving interstate buying a new house buying even new clothes so you relocate that energy it may be even changing furniture around in your house so then you're relocating that energy within your house but then when we look at emotional relocation from being a negative person into a positive person being selfish and now you're wanting to be more generous that type of thing okay so it's a it's a ruin that says it's possible this week to do all this type of, type of energy work on ourselves it's a good omen for travel making a career a house housing or relationship move oh so if this is the time when you're single this next week is the time when you say to someone hey 
hey, <laughs> okay? It might be where you um, look at your house and you say, damn, I want to move. So you ask the universe, hey, can you please give me some funds so I can accomplish this? That could come to you this week, okay? It's all possible, okay? Um, third dot point, if in a difficult situation indicates a successful harmonious resolution is just around the corner. Now, this one shows me about <laughs> horrible bosses. They were all in a difficult position. Indicates a successful harmonious resolution is just around the corner. Look what happened in the bottom, in the end of that movie. That one, two of them got promoted and the other one stood up to Jennifer Aniston and said, hey, no more. Are you going to um, be the ab and the user of what you're doing to me? I'm going to stand up to you now. And if you keep it going, I'm going to, you know, take you further. So he's there with the guy standing out. Oh, it's Jamie Foxx, by the way. Oh, oh yes. Um, he's standing outside recording her while she's doing nasty things to him. So we're all in this opportunity now where we can stand up and say, no more am I going to be treated like this. This is taking responsibility and accountability for our own actions. Stop blaming other people for what they've done to you and start saying, why do I have an issue with them? I don't have an issue with anybody on the planet because I believe that everyone can do what they want. And then I say, okay, then why have I personally got an issue with that person? Because they mean butt kiss to me at the end of the day. The only person who means anything to me is first me, then it's my daughter, and then it's my cat. <laughs> so put your priorities out there and say, what is important to me? Is it important to me to always get involved with that drama across the road? With that neighbor who I don't even know their name? So look at it that way this week and say to yourself, what is important in my um, letting go of all this hurt, because this is a creation card, and now let's start putting out some love vibes, okay? Because love would open doors for others, okay? Could be that we do it, or it could be that they do it for us and others too, okay? So one more. A signal to broaden one's horizons. Okay, so this horse ruin, I love it, okay, because it's so imperative to my last card, and this is the Knight of Swords. Remember last week we had the King of Swords, and he's sitting there with his sword hanging downwards, so he's contemplating action. So this week, let's have a look at him. What is he? The Knight of Swords? So there's still a war going on, right? We're still playing with the swords, okay? So let me just find this guy in my book. So there's the king, there's the queen. Okay, now we've got the Knight of Swords. So I'll just hold him up so you can see him, that that's the one I'm reading. Okay, yep, that's him. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so we've got two ways. It, it could either be a young man or it could be an event. So I'm gonna read it as an event, okay? The energy brought by this night is so swiftly moving that it may feel chaotic. <laughs> I don't know about you, but my life's chaotic every day. Some days the energy going through me is like, wow. Okay. Okay. Due to the speed at which events unfold and the feelings of confusion this could create. So this is where this night card is actually saying there is fear it is the fear okay i'm going to go back to this line on louise benton's card fear subsides on love's flood tide okay all right so if there's feelings of confusion what do we feel as an emotion when we're confused we get scared so there's that fear factor okay Sometimes his swift moving action is a necessary requirement. Now, I can tell you guys, there's a lot of negative things happening all around the world at this point. I just saw a certain vice followed by the word president of a certain country that starts with United and then we follow it by States. And she just said that they in that country 
um, are doing this war with a certain other country that starts with you. What? Is that a confirmation of what I've been saying that for, for the past eight years? That they were the ones who were starting it in the first place? I don't know the answers to this and I'm never going to say I know facts for real because I'm not a politician and I'm just a single mother living in a house in Browns Plains, Queensland, Australia. But at the end of the day, huh, what did she say? I just saw that, by the way. So, um, as it brings about better circumstances. So, sometimes in life, guys, we've got to go through bad experiences to get to that green pasture on the other side. Okay? Look how many times, like I can say it about my own life here. I've been through so much <laughs> absolute horrible situations but it always led me to the good side ultimately okay I've had absolute horrible people I've worked with which is now getting me back to this horrible bosses I've just watched not that these people were even my bosses just even co-workers and they treated me so bad because they are the ones that have all that negative gossiping ickiness about them so when I realized the issue was not with me the issue was them and I took that on stride and said do I have the power to change them never so what's my reaction to what they're doing walk away don't get involved in it okay and this could lead up right to the people who run countries, etc. Don't get involved with it. Sit back, breathe, feel about your love. Now, when I say feel about your love, what am I saying there? Create it within you. Start thinking about something that you love, okay? And then you feel it within you and you build it up. So it's like bubbling out of you and you say, oh, I love that thing so much. I really love that thing so much. So you're feeling it, the tingles and the belly butterflies. And then you go outside and you see that nasty neighbor. Or you just go to work and you see that nasty co-worker. And you go up to them with this big bubble of all these tingles of love. And you all you have to do is smile and walk straight past them. Because they are feeling it without you saying a word. Oh my God, this is how we do it, guys. This is how we spread this love to others. We don't have to go up to them, touch them or attack them and physically hold them down and say, I'm pumping all this love into you today. We don't have to do that. All we have to do is think it. Because as soon as we think it and we start to feel it, this is what is going to win this war, okay? Because the furthest thing from our hearts should be to not like these people. Okay? Okay. There is a great... Now, I'm still reading. Okay, I'm down here now. I'm down here now. Okay? There is a great deal of strength offered by this night, which can be advantageous. So you need to be ready to ride with the changes he brings. So if we're walking with love on our side... No animosity, no grudges, no issues, no gossip, just love, acceptance. And we're riding that on horseback like a knight. So when these changes come this week, because they're swift, they're fast. But don't H-A-T-E, because I don't like saying the word. Love everything this week. That's how we're winning this, guys. Okay? And ultimately, at the end of the day, it's only what we feel within ourselves that matters. And all the cards say this week, L-O-V-E. What does that word mean to you? Start feeling it. Because when we feel it, we live it. And when we live it, we give it to others. Talk to you soon, guy. Talk to you all again soon. It's late. Okay. Bye.